new show Masters of the Air on Apple TV focuses on the role of the Air Force in World War II. And this is really cool. NBC News entertainment correspondent Chloe Malas. She's here to discuss this, not only as somebody who knows entertainment would talk us through a TV show anyway, but her grandfather was actually a member of the unit highlighted in the show. She joins us now to talk about that, uh, your grandfather's legacy as well as the show. Chloe, great to have you with us. Thanks for coming on for this. Tell us about the show and the role specifically that your grandfather played. It's this like shooting star moment where I cover the world of Hollywood right. and my grandfather is a supporting character in Masters of the Air, which mm -hmm. is mind blowing. This all started 10 years ago. So this historian named Donald Miller wrote a book called Masters of the Air and he interviewed the members of the 100th bomb group known as the Bloody 100th. And you know, Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, they had done, like you said, the Pacific and Band of Brothers, but Steven Spielberg's dad was a pilot of a B-24 over Burma. And he kept asking Steven, when are you going to do the Air Force? So they optioned Don Miller's book. And Don had interviewed my grandfather before my grandfather died. Mm -hmm. So my grandfather never came to know that this was going to be turned oh. into a show. Um, but he did write a book. My grandfather was a navigator of a B-17. He was a prisoner of war for almost two years in Germany. He was in the mm -hmm. same prison camp as where the Great Escape happened. Um, and as a family, we published his book last year. And that book was used for um, information about like the prison and camp scenes and that kind of stuff, um, but it's been wild. That is so cool. So Jonas Moore is the actor who plays your grandfather, <laughs> which must be cool to see, but you were actually also behind the scenes on set, right? I mean, what was that experience? So like? during the pandemic, I mean, total lockdown. Mm -hmm. England wasn't even really allowing anybody to come over unless you quarantined for two weeks. But as soon as that lifted, my family and I, we went overseas and we went and we walked the set, um, but we didn't meet Jonas until just a few weeks ago at the Los Angeles premiere. Oh. A lot of the actors in this besides um, Austin Butler and Nate Mann, they're British actors. So Jonas had to learn how to do this like Southern accent. So that's <laughs> been so fun. And you know, my grandmother is still alive. She's 94. So she has lived oh. to see this happen. And so that what is does she so think wonderful. of all this? She thinks it's crazy. She's telling everyone at her nursing home about this. <laughs> and they like, maybe they're watching right now. Hi, hi, Grandma. Down, down <laughs> in Atlanta. That's so sweet. Okay, also, as your, well, your friend in real life, but also on Instagram, I've been following along as you've been so involved, I feel like, getting to go to the set visit, getting to yes. go to these premieres. I mean, what has that been like to have it connected to your grandfather's so, legacy? So, Callum Turner and, um, Austin Butler, I think they think I'm stalking them at this point because I keep showing up to everything. Um, but I mean, look, the fact is, is that I'm actually on the board of directors for a museum called the Mighty Eighth Air Force Museum and the board of directors for something called the 100th Bomb Group. And so these are organizations that are dedicated to keeping the legacy of these mm. men alive. And so I started meeting the writer of Masters of the Year, John Orloff, who wrote the screenplay, the producers who work for Tom Hanks and Gary Gutsman and Kirk Sadusky. And so I've known about this show for years long mm -hmm. before we all knew about it. So they invited me to set and I've got to go along the way to all the stuff. And I'm just so excited. Episode five is out this weekend and yeah. you're going to get to see the prison camp and what that was like. Mm. And I really hope that people have an appreciation for this. 26,000 men died mm. right. in the 8th Air Force during World War II. Yeah. Chloe Malaz, thank you for sharing your personal yeah. connection here and story to this very cool. Thanks Everybody for go watch thank you, Masters Chloe. of the Air. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.